In this video, we'll learn about this set to property. Now, what exactly set to property says is set test object property and its values. So during runtime, if you want to add some property and its value to your repository, you can use set to property, right? For example, uh, I'll just show you an example here that's given as window my flight sample application. On that, I have the button as WPF button, OK, and set to property. Now I want to set one property that is the height, that's a property name, comma, property value. So remember the syntax, set to property, property name, property value. Here, instead of this name, I can give us enabled, I can say as true. I can give us width, I can give us 40. I can give us focused as true, anything. So property and value can keep on changing, but the set to property will remain as it is, right? Now what I'm trying to say is, let me show an example. I'll go to resources, object, repository, and I'll go to OK button. Right now, if you see, there are only two properties, text and dev name, values are OK and OK button. What if I want to add during runtime, one more property and one more value? That is the property is height. I want height here and I want the number that is value given here is 35. Only during runtime. Once the runtime is over, the value again will go back. Right. So when the execution is going on, that time this property will be inside this repository. The value will be inside the repository. As soon as I stop the execution or the execution is over, the property value will be gone away. So let us see that. I'll keep the window open, but before that, I'll just explain you what I've done. Once again, that is HP my flight. That's a button dot set to property. Similar to get RO get to, I have written as set to test object property, height and value. I want to set into my repository. And after that, just to see, I've written message box, some data I've written here. This is not necessary, but if you still write, it will be working fine. Why I've written this? Because during runtime, after the step executes, I want to, I want my script to pause here so that I can show you what exactly is going on. So I'll just put a breakpoint here itself, right? So let us see now. I'll keep the window open because I'm showing you practically, I'll keep the window open here. And now I'll just click on this run button. Click on this run button. And now I'll click on run. Observe right now there is okay for text and dev name. There are two properties. I'll just click on run button. Okay. So if you see, there is no changes in the OK button that's given as text and dev name. But I said, I'll add one property and one value only during runtime. So let me see, I'll just click on, you see there are two properties. I'll click on password and then I'll click back on the OK button. So if you see height is given as 35, same property, same property and the value which I've added here, that is only added in the test object during runtime. So you see height and 35. So why it has paused? Because I've put here a breakpoint. Since I've put here a breakpoint, so it's working and you know, it has paused. Once I say run back again, it will execute. You see here, I'll just click on this run again. Yes, so the last line is executed. Property value added to repository, kindly check. This is the same thing which I've added. Property value added to repository, kindly check. So I'll just click on okay, right? So once the execution is done, I'll go back to my repository and click on this okay button. So if you observe, there's only text and dev name, there is no height. So height was only added during the runtime, but it went away after I've finished it. So now, now you can see here, if you want to add some other property or value, you can just keep on changing and the syntax will be the same, set to property, property name comma property value, and it will be working fine, right? So I hope you have understood how to work on the set to property and that's all for this video.